What's the difference between blood pressure and your heart rate? Let's fan out. Coming up. I'm Dr. John, board certified in internal medicine as well as geriatric medicine. This channel is here to promote your health and your well being. Think your health. Let's kick off things with some basics. Blood pressure is the force exerted by blood against the walls of your arteries, expressed in two numbers like 120 over 80. The first number, systolic pressure, represents the force during the heart's contraction, while the second, diastolic pressure, is the force during its relaxation. Meanwhile, heart rate is the number of heartbeats per minute a straightforward measure of your heart's rhythm. If you're interested in a detailed explanation of high blood pressure, click right here. Now let's explore the dynamic nature of blood pressure. It's like a barometer of your cardiovascular health. When you engage in physical activity, your heart pumps blood with increased force, leading to a temporary rise in blood pressure. This is a normal response to meet the demands of your muscles for oxygen and nutrients. On the flip side, factors like stress, a diet high in sodium and genetic predispositions can elevate blood pressure persistently. You don't want that to happen to you as you would then be at an increased risk for heart disease, strokes and kidney disease. Now shifting gears to heart rate, it's influenced by various factors too. Physical exertion is a major driver. When you exercise, your muscles demand more oxygen, prompting your heart to beat faster to meet this increased demand. Additionally, stimulants like caffeine, also emotional stress, fever and illness, and certain medications can elevate your heart rate. Why does stress cause an increased blood pressure? This is because acute stresses trigger the fight or flight response, causing a surge in adrenaline that raises blood pressure. Your stress hormones stimulate the heart to beat faster, preparing the body for a quick reaction. On the other hand, relaxation techniques, adequate sleep, adequate hydration, and a healthy lifestyle can help regulate it. While they often move in harmony, there are instances where they don't sync up perfectly. As you picture this, during intense exercise, your heart rate may soar, yet your blood pressure may not increase proportionally. Why is this? Well, your heart is working hard, but the blood vessels are adapting efficiently to the increased demand preventing a drastic spike in pressure. In other words, your vessels become wider so they can accommodate the increased blood volume pumped from your heart. Conversely, there are moments when your blood pressure may be elevated due to stress, but your heart rate may not rise at the same rate. It's like your heart is saying, hold on, we've got enough pressure here. Examples would be, when standing up too quickly, your blood pressure might temporarily drop. To compensate for the drop in blood pressure, the heart rate may increase momentarily. Other examples where blood pressure and heart rate may move in opposite directions is when you're straining during activities like heavy lifting, which can temporarily increase your blood pressure at the same time the heart rate may briefly drop due to increased pressure in the chest. Sophisticated communication between your heart and blood vessels working in tandem to maintain balance. Now let's talk about red flags. Persistently high blood pressure or abnormal heart rates can be indicators of underlying heart issues. If you experience symptoms like dizziness, chest pain, or shortness of breath, it's crucial to seek medical attention promptly. This could be warning signs of cardiovascular problems that need professional evaluation and intervention. And if you're interested in other videos, click right here or click right here. Have a good day and think your health. Okay, I don't know why it took so long. Always trouble, trouble in paradise.